how much does it cost actually to travel Thailand, specifically Phuket. As the mainland Thailand, uh, I believe, is a bit cheaper. I don't know yet, I haven't been there yet, but Phuket, I have spent here um, two weeks now. And I have seen uh, more or less most of the island, and uh, I have stayed in several uh, small uh, towns. And the prices differ a bit from place to place, to be honest, right? So, <clears throat> let's start uh, with the hotels. So, there's a lot of options, and uh, first of all, I would highly recommend you to use Agoda because booking and the uh, hostel world uh, they do work here but uh, they are uh, more pricey and like sometimes even twice as much, much in the cost you know for the same accommodation so agoda.com would be really your option uh, here in Thailand Thailand right so uh, the prices uh, it really depends from where you're going uh, prices differ starting from uh, seven eight euro up to basically as much as you want of course you know like if you're in a budget like me you know uh you can get a decent place for uh 10 10 euros no problem finding a decent place uh i have those places there have been like uh, two or three of them i have filmed I, i'll put you in now so you can see how they look uh with the exact price so uh there are options you can get for uh, eight euro and uh they can be decent as well, but uh, they also might be a bit <laughs> dodgy looking, you know, like it, not from the safety point, it's just, you know, the rooms will be like let down, don't expect like a, a four star, five star accommodation for this price, of course, you know, uh, with the common sense, you know, but uh, there will be aircon in most of them, uh, if there won't be aircon, there will be uh, fans, you know, so you wouldn't die in this fucking... Uh, steamy steaming hot place as temperatures can get here really really it's not even uh, the temperature it's like the humidity in combination with the temperature is just <laughs> it can get wild you know so uh, hostels y you can stay hostels if you want it uh, but hostels actually dorm rooms tend to be more a bit more expensive than uh, private rooms I don't know, it kind of doesn't doesn't make any sense, you know, like uh, uh, if you think about it, but um, hostels, uh, decent looking hostels uh, starting from 10 to 14 euros probably a night and if you like hostels, go ahead, I personally, I haven't stayed in any hostels uh, at the moment here but I have stayed in hostels before when I was traveling in Central and South America and it was amazing, it was uh, all the people you meet you know I think that's the charm of the hostel because you, you meet these like-minded travelers you know and basically you have guaranteed family insta insta like that you know <laughs> so that's the thing but if you want privacy that's not, not an issue you can get rooms starting re really from 8 euro it will be a de decent room like a bed a fan AC and so on you know even fridge most of them actually even will have a fridge in them right so going to food food uh, differs by more than hotel in the prices i would say uh but uh, like uh, phuket's old town probably would be the cheapest one uh i would say and there's a more option of street food like so you can get like uh, a decent like a uh, noodle meal uh, for like 60 ba or uh, curry starting from 100 120 ba and then let's say if you go to Patong, Patong is actually very expensive in comparison to, uh, and when I say expensive I mean it to like uh, with the idea that remind, don't forget that you're in Thailand yeah if you would compare these prices to of course the prices in the states or uh, in Europe you know especially Western Europe uh, yes they might seem uh, somewhat cheap you know but remember you're you're not there guys you're here in Thailand so in compar comparison to the price uh, in other places in Thailand uh, Patong is expensive sometimes even twice as much as expensive right so if you would pay let's say 60 70 baht for noodles in uh, Old Town or in Kata uh, or Ravai somewhere uh, you might have to pay 100 120 baht for the same type of meal uh, in Patong right and uh, 
there are loads of uh, these more fancy restaurants that are more oriented towards tourists and uh, there you would have to spend even like 300 baht and so on, you know. So it's really up to you like uh, how much you're willing to spend really. If you're on a tight budget, uh, I would recommend you to go to these like local places, you know, where uh, you, you can see, you can recognize a local place straight away, you know. It's, uh, these touristic ones, they look more or less like westernized, you know, like fancy, like your tables and stuff. And then there's these local ones, which are basically just a home kitchen, you know. If someone is living there, they have opened a, a living room basically, and you just go in and eat, more or less, you know. Uh, and I actually would recommend there, because locals are, locals are going to eat there, uh, and it's probably... I, 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 I'm not sure if I could say more authentic food, I mean, the food here will, will be great anywhere, more or less, you know, most of the places will have a really great food, uh, but the price is really different, and uh, there you can get these like 60, 70 bar meals. In Patong itself, um, there are places where you can get such meals as well, but you do need to look for them, and it's, it's much harder to find, uh, find these places in Patong. <coughs> like... Uh, for those who like seafood uh, Here in Thailand, uh, well, I'm in Phuket I, and uh, at this point this point is uh, You can get a really amazing super fresh seafood because the thing is most of these places where you offer these or order these like full fish and so on it's the fish is still alive, either that would be a lobster, crab or, or a fish, some kind of sort of fish They're still alive when you order them and then they cook it uh, fresh, right? So, and these vary, vary in price from uh, I have seen for from 400, but that's already a cheap side. Uh, cheap, if you manage to find something like that, the, I would consider that uh, cheap. Mostly they're around uh, 550, 600 baht in, in that range. So, let's say 450 to 550, that would be the range uh, that you can count, think about like having this like fresh type of uh, seafood. Uh, some of these places they do it on a weight, it depends from place to place. Uh, and yeah, it will be amazing. I, I tried myself uh, this fish, I paid, uh, I believe 400 or, don't remember, 400 or 450 baht. It was like with the rice and uh, small salad, you know, and uh, chilies and everything, mm -hmm. chili sauce, curry sauce, uh, mm -hmm. yellow curry sauce actually, yeah. And it was uh, fucking amazing. It was really delicious. Totally worth it, in my opinion. At least straight once, you know? So, seafood, amazing place to get seafood. Uh, shrimps and uh, calamaris and octopus, small squids, you know? Like, all that stuff is here. It's all from here, from the beach, you know? <laughs> it's all fresh. Go for it. You won't regret it. Right. Uh, about transportation. Now, you can easily, around Phuket Island, you can easily travel uh, with the taxis if you wish so. Uh, there's this application, it's called Grab. So basically, it's like uh, basically Uber, you know. It shows your uh, location, shows your destination, and it calculates price and shows you what, what the price is gonna be. Now, I have seen and heard on many videos on YouTube that people say, oh, just take Grab because tuk-tuks and these street taxis, they're just gonna uh, charge you more and uh, it will be more hustle. Now, the hustle, there might be a hustle, yeah, if, if you're willing to argue about the price with them, but the price-wise, I, I must say I disagree because all the places where I uh, traveled uh, with a taxi or, you know, I always check the price on a uh, Grab and then I would go on the street to the either tuk-tuk driver or uh, taxi driver and. I will ask them what would be the price for, for this destination and uh, they always would be cheaper. I mean like, and I don't mean like 20 baht cheaper, I mean like uh, 100 to 200 baht cheaper. So I would suggest you uh, download the Grab, check it on the Grab, the price for your destination and then go to the to, to, to driver and ask them how much is. And that gives you a start like this uh, kickoff point, you know, where you, you know at least approximate uh, value for the trip, you know, and you can start, uh, start to talk with them, you know, and ask them for appropriate price, what you assume is appropriate price. 
the lengths of the journeys they differ from uh, if you go from one town next to another it's usually like 10 kilometers between them or so uh, so it's a quick like 30 sometimes 40 minute drive let's say yeah and uh, yeah there are buses uh, let's say if you're in an old town you can take bus to Kamala Kamala Beach that costs uh, 40 baht uh, and from Patu, from uh, sorry from uh, Old town, you can also take a bus to Patong, I believe, and uh, other beaches, and they all cost like 40 baht, I believe. So, that obviously would be the cheapest <laughs> version. And uh, I would recommend you, I would recommend you to take one of these buses, uh, they're very simple. And uh, suggestion uh, once you're sitting in and you don't know how to get out, there's a small button on a ceiling which you can't really see <laughs> if you don't pay attention. So Check on the map, once you're near your the location where you want to get out, press the button, he will stop, he will jump out, go give him money, the 40 baht, and that's it, that's done. Very simple, very easy. <laughs> so I tried to get a bus from uh, Kata to Patong, and there's no bus, and it also seems there's no bus from Patong to Kamala. So if you would like to take a bus, you would have to go back to Old Town, and then from Old Town grab another bus. So it will be cheaper for you. Definitely, it will be much cheaper than to take a taxi. But you will lose approximately hour, uh, you know, on a, on a journey. So if you're willing to sacrifice this hour and go Old Town, please do so. Why not? You know, why waste money <laughs> if you can save it? <laughs> uh, nightlife and beers like in the shops you could count like a big bottle of local beer would be like uh, 55 to 60 to bar something like that uh, in the bars bars uh, can get a bit pricey in comparison to, to, to that to the shop price obviously you know uh, so from 80 bar all the way up to 150 bar i have seen for uh, for a beer and uh, most of the places for 150 baht they will offer you the big bottle but there are places who are selling the small bottles for 150 baht as well so be careful when you order order right uh, especially if you go to place like patong patong is expensive as i said before and if you go on a bangla road which i definitely would recommend you to do that uh, at least for one night just to have the experience <laughs> because th that is a uh, it can be very overwhelming, uh, I'm telling you that it can be extremely overwhelming, but I would say it's definitely worth the experience. It's, uh, it's something new, you know, and uh, interesting, but their drinks... Uh, so the, the cheapest bar actually was the Kangaroo, which is the Aussie bar, and there was a uh, small bottles, they sell, sell only in small bottles, uh, it was like 85 bar, and other places would be like uh, 110, 150 bar. For the small bottle of beer right uh, cocktails cocktails usually are starting from 100 to 250 baht or so it depends what kind of cocktail how fancy you like them you know um, and that would be probably the nightlife the temples uh, most of the temples are free of charge or if you've got waterfalls they are free of charge no entrance fee there are some places where they ask entrance fee like uh, say nui beach uh, Nui Beach, they ask 100 baht entrance fee. It's a nice, uh, very peaceful, more or less, you could say. It's a very small beach, like really small beach. But if you're there nearby, you know, why not visit? 100 baht is not that much for experience, you know. Go for it, go for it. You can have really nice ice cream there on the beach with a view. Spend some time. It will be nice, it will be nice. I'm really sure that you won't regret it, you know. Um, and I think that's it, uh, actually, when it comes to the prices in Phuket. So, we will see, once I get to the mainland, how the prices differ, and I will make definitely a video about that as well. Uh, you know, but, yeah, I, it, it's, when I was coming here, I probably thought it would be a bit cheaper, as many were gonna, might say, oh, you cheapskin, and so on. Maybe I am. I'm just saying. I was thinking it was. It will be a bit cheaper, but uh, it's not that expensive at the same time. It's affordable. It's really affordable. And I would say that uh, if 
like let's say you you really can uh, live with 30 euro a day and that's including the hotel but that probably would be like maybe like one or two beers only in a pub uh, if you go to Patong, forget about 30 euro a day, never gonna happen. <laughs> it will be at least 50, 60 euro a day in Patong. Uh, that's just the way it is. But in, if you go to places like uh, Kata or Kamala Beach, uh, yeah, 30 euro a day is absolutely doable. If your budget allows you more, fucking amazing. That means more food, more beer, more fun. <laughs> but if it doesn't, you still will survive. Okay, I think that will be all for this video and see you in the next one.